I've been so impressed with sort of the field of mitophagy and these mitophagy activating compounds um, that I'm really kind of keeping my eye on things like urolithin A um, and like Nicola Vanini's group has shown that it was uh, sufficient to rejuvenate uh, old hematopoietic stem cells. You know, other people have shown that uh, nicotinamide riboside has worked with, uh, at least in mice, right? So we're not talking humans, we're talking mice, that it's benefited dysfunctional and aged immune cells. So I think those are some things that maybe you're taking a cell and you're supplementing it with these gerotherapeutics that they aren't getting rid of, say, pathogenic cells like senolytics are, but they're improving, uh, you know, sort of the existing cells function. So would that be then pomegranates and walnuts for the elagitannins converted into your life and A, hopefully yeah. by the gut, uh, or, or would you just supplement? I mean, I don't know. What, what, what would you think would be the best approach? In Man, I hate pomegranate, so I'd have to supplement, you know? <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yeah. It's probably, it's probably the best measurable amount, right? Because you don't, you know that you're at least getting this guaranteed amount and you could likely say, well, oh, I'm also, uh, you know, to get that benefit of your life and a, I'm not spiking my glucose levels with a bunch of fruit either. Yeah. And it also gets to dose, like how, mm -hmm. how much can you get enough from the food or do you need that super physiological dose? And then is, is the net effect systemically going to be beneficial, right? Do you get some rejuvenation yeah. of mitochondria, yeah. but then it's such a super physiological dose. You've got xenobiotic metabolism in the mm -hmm. liver. It just goes crazy. And now it's like, you yeah. make one thing better and crush a few others, right? I think, you know, there's, there's the argument on one side of the passive thing is I'll eat a pomegranate. The other side is I'm going to supplement with X amount and somewhere in the middle lies the truth of the therapeutic window, right? Of like, I, I'm not going to get any benefit until I meet, eat X amount of pomegranates or I'm maxing out the benefit. And now I'm getting into the problem area of too much.